Hey, welcome back guys. So we haven't saved any information and so we need to debug. So this is the cells uh, table, but it's empty. So why is it empty? You may ask. Now, the first thing to do when debugging is to go back to your, uh, let's go to where we are sending the data and let's activate the console.log. That way, if there are any errors, we're going to see them there. So refresh and let's inspect the element console.log clear that let's just add one item right i just added it twice and let me put 30 there and there we go continue so as you can see we have a fatal error now a fatal error means everything was halted the script stopped moving forward which would explain why things were not saved so what is it saying it's saying uh, PDO exception, which means this was a problem with saving into the database because that's where we're using PDO. So here it's saying could not find, oh, column not found. Okay, so simple and straightforward. Receipt number is a field that was not found. So the reason is that because we changed, uh, we changed it. So let's go back to Ajax, uh, receipt received let me change your instances of this and put that e there okay so what is it complaining oh this is the part where it's complaining because we put that as part of the columns let's come back here and put an e there very good very good uh -huh. Okay, so let's refresh and let's see if we will have any luck this time. So two items there and let's try to check out and we put 60, no change whatsoever, yes. And then it's complaining again, uh, unknown column receipt, no. Online 36 in database. Now you see, sometimes you may get confused with these errors because here it says, uh, database PHP line 36, right? But the only reason it's saying this is because that's where the function that runs the query actually lives. But that's not where the problem is. You have to go to this tab trace here and see where things started and where they ended. So before it gets to the PDO, uh, this is it. Inside functions 151, get receipt number, so this is where the function where there's a problem. So let's go to get receipt number here. Let's go to functions. Let's see what's going on. What is going on? Okay, so there it is. So that's the, the column that wasn't found. So let's select both and put an E there and we should be home and dry. Okay, okay. So let's refresh. Let's try again, add two items. Let's check out, click a ding. And let's uh, 60, click a click. There we go. And then we get data type, check out data. Item saved successfully. Yippee, let's click here and see. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we have one receipt number here, very nice. We have the descriptions, even though we didn't send this data because we got it from the database. We have quantities here. So let's look at the calculation. Amount, uh, that's 20 times two, that's 40. One times this, one times that, very good. Only that the user ID is unknown, which is a bit of a problem, but don't worry, we'll fix that. And why is the user ID actually accepting these entries at all? User ID is a variable character, wow, okay. That should have been an integer. In any case, uh, at least it shows us that we have a problem. So date, date, total. So everything seems fine. Let's see if the receipt number will increment over time. Let me close this. Let's add a few more items. And let's check out. There we go. That's our change. Did we, oh, we didn't get a message right. But let's see here. 
Yeah, as you can see, receipt number is now two for this item. So using the receipt number, you can tell uh, which of these items were saved together. So this is one item, this is a second item, etc., etc. Okay, so so far things seem to be going well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, now what we need is to make sure that the user ID is valid. Otherwise, we have a problem. Uh -huh. Okay, so what to do here is, first thing is we need to only allow people that are logged in to access this thing. So this is where the authentication process will come in. So we need to limit uh, who can see what. For example, only the admin should be able to see this location for admins and uh, when we are logged in, the login and sign up uh, should not be visible here once I'm logged in. And uh, what else? Looks pretty straightforward. Let me see the users right now. Email at email.com. So let's try and log in. If things work, just fine. Email at email.com. And the password, obviously, password. Okay, look at that. Undeclared variable users. Okay, what's going on? PDO exception, syntax error or access violation. Hmm, this one is interesting. Ah, wait, select all from, and then there's an array there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we give an array. Okay, what's going on? Login number eight, model. We're looking at the stack trace here and just to see which one is the likely candidate. So it looks like we are inside model and there's a, an array that is not working well. Login number eight. Okay, so the possible places are login eight and mm, where else? Index 15. Not this one right here. Or maybe model 91. So let's try login number eight. Since we are logging in, let's go to the login controller and eight. This is where it is. So it's saying user where and email, post email. And that's the table users. Wait, why are we still using this at all? Why do I have that? Anyway, let me check to see. Let me remove this actually. It doesn't seem to be relevant since we changed how we are doing things. Hmm, interesting. Let me refresh and see what happens now. Oh, okay, so that was the problem. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, so I'm logged in right now, but I can't tell. Okay, I can tell because there's a name there. But these things are still there, which is not good at all. So we need to figure out a way to ease up on these things. So we can do that by creating an auth authentication class. So all we are going to do uh, inside models, we should create the auth class and then we can use it where we want. Now we want this to run in a static mode so that we don't have to create the way we are doing here where a new user, new auth, etc. Everything will be static. But let's do that in the next video.